What's going on guys? Got another knife review here for you. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, custom Raymond Kuhn. Um, this is the RC2. Uh, so RC is standing for Raymond Kuhn, uh, I'm assuming. So um, this knife I, I got um, a while back and it was kind of a some, somewhat of a fixer upper uh there was a little bit of blade play on it and stuff and so the guy sold it somewhat cheap and you know just thinking like if, if there's anybody out there that can fix it up then you know you get a good price on it and so i did fix this up and now it is absolutely rock solid it is hair shaving sharp and um this is a beautiful beautiful knife um raymond coon i actually don't know very much about him but he is a custom maker out of Oregon um, and he doesn't I mean I think he specializes more in the kind of high-end materials um, obviously as well as fixed blades um, this one has laddered mascus I'm not sure if it's Devin Thomas or Chad Nichols but it's a very nice nicely patterned uh, Damascus blade on here and then it's got mocha made bolsters um, which is absolutely beautiful uh, and then uh, black ironwood handles scales uh, inside you've got titanium uh, jeweled liners right there as you can see the jeweling uh, on the inside slightly if the light um, shines right there in the, in the right light right there so uh, and then on the back you can see Raymond's this is the right way uh, yeah so you can see Arcoon Oregon uh, on the backspacer inside there kind of stenciled out. Oh, that's upside down. That was a reflection. <laughs> so, yeah, right there. Right. And then um, that backspacer is actually stainless steel. So that actually gives a lot of heft uh, to this handle. So, um, but overall, this is an absolutely um, beautiful knife. I, I could see myself maybe getting like lightning strike carbon fiber scales or something, and then maybe like some kind of carbon fiber or uh, titanium backspacer down the road. Um, I the one thing I wish is it had a pocket clip, but that's totally fine because it actually comes with this um, this holster um, right here. So that's that's pretty nice. So you could string it to your belt or, or whatnot. But uh, as it stands, I would carry this without you know anything else in my pocket and just kind of slide it in, um, and it's it's really nice. Uh, this knife, very solid. It is a pretty thick stock of, of Damascus right here. Uh, single thumb stud on here. So again, there's not much you know known about Raymond Kuhn in terms of what I've researched. Um, so I'm just kind of showing this just so you guys know who's out there um, and what he's capable of. I'm sure you could contact him and see um, you know if he, he might be able to make a knife for you guys. Um, but you can see this is to me, I think it looks very uh, Terzulish, um, you know, like a Bob Terzula um, ATCF sort of. You know, ATCF usually has like a thumb disc deployment. Um, I don't think it necessarily would have this this rising ramp um, on the blade as well. Um, but definitely, the handle is very much um, Terzula looking. Um, the blade, I think some people were actually saying, kind of reminds them of a, a CQC seven or something. Uh, minus the Tonto edge. So, um, but overall, uh, this is a fantastic knife. Um, very smooth after I greased it up, tightened the lock bar a little bit. Um, lock up again is just absolutely rock solid. Um, detent on here is not the best though. So I can shake that out pretty easily, uh, even on camera. So um, that's one thing that's um, not as good uh, on, on this knife, but Again, as a formal carry, um, I don't know how necessary it would be. Um, it can still be flipped out with a little bit of a wrist flick, you know, but, you know, whatever, say what you will. Uh, has a stop pin construction, so it might be somewhat of an older, I don't know if it's an older knife or what, but um, either way, it's beautiful. Uh, so this is my first uh, knife with Mokume in, in any weight in any you know form whether it's handle or inlay or anything or bolsters so i'm in love with mokume mokume is actually very heavy um, i was surprised you know when i took this knife apart and cleaned it all up uh, i was surprised to feel how heavy uh, the mokume was and so this knife um, with this stainless steel 
uh, backspacer and with the mocha ma makes for a quite a heavy handled knife um, and then ironwood you know wood is very light um, in terms of for scale it's so small so thin you know so um, but overall a very comfortable knife very functional knife um, definitely one that I'm happy to have in my collection uh, I think it's just the absolute beauty with Damascus and Mokume and, and Ironwood so anyway just a, sh a quick uh, showing of this knife right here uh, here's again the holster just a quick size comparison this is a Jake Hoback a15 so this is a monster knife but you can see how it measures against it um, here's my Julius Shoup um, SF2 Hyperion, so I don't give enough love to this knife, so I want to show this knife off for you guys. Then the standard Sabenza, large 21, and then here it is against the Todd Big Bodega. Alright, so again, there's the Raymond Kuhn um, out of Oregon Custom Maker, the RC2. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I just want to try to keep these videos a little bit shorter. Um, keep my sanity going. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next vid. Bye.